So here is my new book, Queen Touring America, and it's just part of a huge Queen live project I have been compiling for nearly 10 years now, with this book taking about a year to complete, and hope it is appealing to other fans who are interested in Queen's concerts from over the years, especially the North American shows. The book chronicles Queen's live performances in the USA and Canada, from their first tour in 1974, supporting Mott the Hoople, to their last shows in the continent with Freddie Mercury in 1982. The book is A4 in size and contains 264 pages. I have self-published this book and is only available to order from myself at a cost of £20. Huge thanks to fans from America and Canada who so generously let me use their photos in this book and without them would not have been worth publishing. After the contents and introduction pages, the story starts in 1974 on the band's first tour. And their first show in Denver. As well as documenting all of the shows, there are also many photos to accompany the text, as well as tickets and poster images from the concerts. With set lists if known, and many quotes from the band, as well as from fans and reviews from the music press at the time. I have also listed live bootlegs and other recorded shows, included any that were filmed. There are many concerts throughout the book that I have highlighted and given more than a page to, due to some great photos, stories and Freddie and Brian's repartee with the audience during each show. I'm going to just flick through the rest of the book now, from 1982 to 1975. And now on to 1980, and their tour promoting the game album. The information throughout is sourced from my own research, as well as what is available from the internet, and from books, magazines, radio shows, websites, documentaries, as well as fellow fans and is a complete as possible amalgamation of all that is known about the live shows. And now on to 1978 and their tour promoting the Jazz album. The book is told from a fan's point of view as well as reviews from the press. So some of the shows highlighted include Madison Square Garden in New York, a place where Queen played many times, and one of their special gigs here in November 1978, including the nude cyclists who appeared on stage with the band. Some fantastic photos here and their New Orleans show. And now on to the second North American shows in 1977 at the LA Forum and Houston. as well as Madison Square Garden in New York and on to the first shows at the start of 1977. All known support bands are also mentioned including Thin Lizzy. For the first time a detailed account of the band's stage wear is also included as well as information on their stage production and lighting rigs. And their shows in 1976 for the Invite You to a Night at the Opera Tour. And their first headlining tour in 1975. And their first ever shows in Canada. So there you go, my new book, Queen Touring America. A donation from the sale of this book will be made to Rowcroft Hospice and the Mercury Phoenix Trust.